Yay! Oh. Uh -oh. So I recently went to Japan and I picked up a bunch of Kit Kats and really fun flavors and Gavin and I are going to try them. How fast was that intro? I wasn't ready for the speed. Are you want me to do it again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Meg Turney. That was what you said your name. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Meg Turney. I'm Gavin. Nailed it. Um, and recently I went to Japan and I picked up a bunch of flavors of Kit Kats there and I've been dying to eat them, but I thought first we would do a video where we tried all of them. Now any of them rank? I don't know. I haven't, I've never had a single one of the flavors we're about to try. How are we keeping score? There's not a... We're just giving like a one word summary? Yeah, just like a how we, oh, well you don't need a one word. I think that would be a bit one short, phrase. but like, just this is what I think of it. Alright. You can, you can make whatever rating system you want. I'm cleansing my palate with coffee. Okay. So as a note, we're not trying the green tea Kit Kats because I've had those before. Have you had those before? Yeah. I feel like everybody's kind of had those. So this is all the other weird flavors they had at the giant Kit Kat counter in Cebu. So the first flavor we're trying is um, apparently the Kit Kat counter in Japan does uh, birthstone Kit Kats. And they only have it available for that month. So I got the December birthstone, which is... Tanzanite. I have no idea what flavor it is, so... What's your birthday? Uh, aquamarine for March. What's yours? No idea. May is... is it opal? Might be. Diamond? Something cool. Diamond? Yeah, That'd be a wicked one. it might be diamond. Um, anyway, this is Tanzanite. Oh, it comes in like three... In, oh, it's the sublime ones. So three individually wrapped, and this makes like a giant sublime one which is their highest end chocolate. And, there's, and they only come like in little individual So it's like some ones. gourmet Kit Kat. Yeah, it says bitter in like a little it. cigar box. <laughs> bitter? Yeah, right, wait, um, right there. <laughs> so I hope it's not like bitter chocolate, like dark chocolate. Oh man, never has so much effort gone into getting a Kit Kat out of the packaging. Oh, it's dark chocolate. No, my least favorite. I was hoping it'd be like purple. Maybe that one is. I'm opening this one too, just in case. <laughs> this I'm one's gonna, totally different. Let me go for it. Go for it. Yeah, this one's totally different. Oh. Good, I'm glad you got the drug choice. <laughs> <laughs> it came in a box, it says tanzanite on it. Oh, it is purple. Sweet. It's purple like the box. Oh, my. <gasps> it has like a little stone on it. With a little, little tanzanite on it. <laughs> I don't know what flavor it is. It's like, it reminds me of Pocky, but. It kind of reminds me of strawberry Pocky. Yeah, it's definitely a fake fruit taste. No, that one's rank. Oh, you don't like it? I don't like that one. I like it. It was yummy. I would say... 8 out of 10. The little thing at the end was crunchy and it threw me off at first, so... I'd give that a 3. A 3? You don't like it? But the dark chocolate, an 8. Oh, you like the dark chocolate? Mm. Cool, I have a gift for you. Mm. Okay, so the next flavor is wasabi. Oh, comes in like a little display package. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. I hope we like it. I it think has, I'm gonna stuff the whole thing in. It has a tail of wasabi, but I can't read it. Let me see if I can read any words. <laughs> there's a couple. Wasabi? Yep, nailed it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's light green. It doesn't smell like it. It smells like my lotion on my hand. I'm just gonna stuff the whole thing. Go for thing. it. Mm. Yep. Definitely wasabi. But not spicy. No. Just a weird flavor of crunchy wasabi. My nose expects the burn with that taste. <laughs> like, I feel like my nose is like tingling a little yeah, bit. Yeah, eating that much was like this. Oh, oh no, that's oh, fine. <laughs> Four and ten. Four, yeah. Yeah. It's like a cool novelty, but 
I wouldn't just be like, oh, you know what I would love? A wasabi <laughs> Kit Kat. Yeah, I would never crave that, but it's not foul. I bet everyone in my family can expect a tiny Kit Kat with their <laughs> gift cards this year. <laughs> There's no way I'm keeping these. I feel like they should have gone all out and made it an actual spicy Kit Kat. Yeah, spi that would have been cool. Like horseradish fire up your nose. That would have been really cool if I'd like eaten it and it was spicy. And also it would have been hilarious to see your reaction too. <laughs> That's why I put the whole thing in. Alright, so the next flavor is Shinsu... Sin... <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you had my I? stitches there. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The next flavor is Shin Shu Apple. I can read one word on this box. What one? Apple. Ringo. Ringo is apple? Yeah, apple. What star? <laughs> Another display box. Apple chocolate. Yeah, these are like a lot of fruit chocolates. Okay, it's the regular Kit Kat color. Oh, oh smells wow! Like apple. Yeah, that is like. Oh, it smells like green hubba bubba. That is like really apple. Yeah, it's a little bit sour. Mhm. Mm Definitely tastes like sour apple. I almost don't taste the chocolate. Like the chocolate's kind of like the aftertaste, but it's really appley. It's like super, okay, mm hmm a little bit for you, none for you. Oh, it's kind of strong aftertaste. Yeah. That one's okay. It's better than the purple one. Six out of ten? The purple one was really good. I'm like bummed I only got one out of the three. <laughs> like it was like they gave me one really good one and then two like crap dark chocolate ones. I would give that, give that five along with the wasabi. Just The same? Like, yeah, I guess I, just I wouldn't. wouldn't choose it. Yep, I wouldn't choose it. I would use it as like a novelty gift. But if someone gave me a whole box of these, I wouldn't know what to do with them. <laughs> Our last big display box is purple sweet potato flavor. Benny Emo is what it says on the front. So, purple sweet potato. I can think of so many flavors that I would have put with chocolate before I got to sweet potato. Here's the thing, it sounds really weird, but I feel like the Japanese, like a lot of Japanese treats, have something in them that sound so off to me, but then they're delicious. Like, like red bean sounds horrible when you're talking about sweets, but they're delicious. Red bean sweets are delicious. So, it could be delicious. Did he walk off with a Kit Kat? The thing is, I don't know what to compare this to because I've never had a purple sweet potato. I don't really feel like it smells like anything. Oh, I don't like it. It tastes like plastic to me. I'll be honest, that tasted just like nothing. <laughs> it tasted like wafer. Mine tasted like, I'm one of those people if something's in a Ziploc bag for too long and then I try and eat it, all I taste is Ziploc bag. <laughs> I feel like that tasted like Ziploc bag to me. So you're tasting the wrapper? It must be. Here, eat mine. See if it's different. I don't want any Okay. <laughs> Three out of ten. Yeah, that was the worst one, I think. I'm not hugely shocked by that based on the weird sort of turd pile of purple. On <laughs> to be fair, I feel like that looks like it would be more flavorful than what I just ate. <laughs> just like the little basil leaf on there. So the last box has four different flavors in it. Oh. It's the special box. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So the first one, you just taking one of each. <laughs> okay. Is that what we're doing? Well, yeah, but I just figured we'd go one at a time. Um, let's start with pistachio and raspberry. Another odd combination. Yeah. Oh. A lot of their Kit Kats are green. A lot of them. It's probably the same food coloring thing. Oh, I see. So the green, the pistachios on the outside, and the raspberries on the inside. Oh, is it red? So it's some, uh, red in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I couldn't tell. You know what? Initially it was a lot. But then it calms down. down. Yeah, it calms down. <laughs> but still. 
inappropriate use of Kit Kat. Okay. All right. You're gonna call. You're gonna throw a flag on the the Kit Kat usage. Two out of ten. Hmm. I feel like I could see myself eating that more than I could like some of the other flavors. So I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Shocking. I'm saving this one for last because I'm really excited about it. Okay, strawberry maple. This one they had um, a little, I got it, but I didn't open it. Like a little special box of too, I guess, because it's popular. Strawberry and maple. Oh, huh. Oh, it's a pink. It's a cute pink. It's a salmon color. It smells like strawberry ice cream. It tastes exactly like strawberries. Like I don't get any of the maple. And I don't really like that strawberry flavoring. Mm. So that'll be a two for me. Hmm. I think this one was really good. Eight out of ten. Eight. We have different palettes. Yeah, we really do. I think the Tanzanite one was probably my favorite. So I'm gonna bump that from a seven to an eight. Okay. Give this like a seven point five. Just just seven. a step below. I like we're that. Also, it's exactly like Pocky. We're learning our scale as we yeah. add to it. Okay. Um, this is green tea and kinako. So I had to look up what kinako is. And kinako is flour. <laughs> like flour you'd make a make dough with? It is roasted soybean flour and is a product commonly used in Japanese cuisine. In English, it is usually called roasted soy flour. But more precisely, it's roasted whole soy flour. <laughs> okay. Another green one. I'm curious if this is different oh. <laughs> than the regular green tea one. You know in old planes, they still have the ashtrays? Wait, no! It, um, I imagine that's what that's this flavor is. <laughs> okay, I can do that, like musty seat. Sort of like particles from the 70s <laughs> with old cigarette ash. <laughs> I don't hate it as much as you do, but... That'll be a... Uh... That'd be a one from me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't hate it that much. It is like a kind of a kick in the mouth at first, but I like it better than I like the sweet potato one. Interesting. The Three sweet potato ten. one wasn't good. It was just harmless though. No, it was it tasted like plastic. I hated it. Three out of ten. And now my favorite one because I'm so excited. I saved this one for last. Um, a butter flavor. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. Butter. Butter. You know how much I love butter. I eat, I could eat butter raw at any moment in the day. It looks like white chocolate. I have a nice creamy color. Oh, it just smells like a hunk of butter. Like, I don't <laughs> think I could eat that. My body doesn't want to let me just put butter in my mouth. I don't really. I, don't, I could use some more butter smell, I feel. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't pile that on one I don't like, because I'll eat it. Um, you like that one? Yeah, that one's good. 10 out of 10. It tastes just like butter. <laughs> Crunchy butter. You know when butter doesn't melt, but you put it on something, and you finally get the lump in that bite? Mm-hmm. Heaven. <laughs> A treat. <laughs> good <laughs> karma. Least favorite one. Really? I would eat the ashtray one before I'd eat butter. Wow! Yeah. What? <laughs> this is easily the best one. You're insane. I'd give that one a zero. Can we put zero? You can do whatever you want. So what was your favorite one? Maybe... <laughs> the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, the bitter one. And the apple one. I, I'm going to promote apple from five to six. Okay. In hindsight. So, the best that it went for you was a 6 out of 10. Yeah, and then just the normal dark chocolate was the best kick out. <laughs> <laughs> I can reward you, I have a couple of the sublime Kit Kats that are just regular milk chocolate. Oh really? That is my gift to you. For and you don't like this. the dark chocolate, do you? I don't like dark chocolate, so you can have my dark chocolate, which is over there, and all the milk chocolate, because I don't like milk chocolate either. <laughs> Butter flavor. Is it coming back up a little bit? Ah. <sighs> My favorite for sure was the butter. I think my least favorite was the sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato or maybe, yeah, sweet potato. I'll be honest, I hated a lot of them. Yeah, yep. I again, novelty. And if any of my family is watching this and we haven't had Christmas yet, if this comes out somehow before Christmas, <laughs> you can expect to get this tied to a gift card because I gotta get written. We're not eating this.
You're here for the outro? Okay. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you, Gavin, for doing a video with me. You're very kind. Is that kind? I just ate Kit Kats, really. Yeah, but it was nice of you to take part of your, your Saturday and eat Kit Kats with me. Thank you, Smee, for being annoying and getting in the shots. And thank you, Kitten, for staying off camera. Okay, I already thanked you. All right, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out more videos. They're probably floating around right about here, or they maybe they'll float around here in a second. And uh, we'll see you next time. How are you?